moments away from puck drop at South Windsor Arena. It is Saturday Night Hockey on OUA.TV. Welcome to South Windsor Arena, ladies and gentlemen, where the Windsor Lancers will host the Ryerson Rams, the biggest matchup in the OUA West tonight. Well, the anthem has been sung, and that means there's only one thing left to do here. It is time for Lancers hockey. It is time to play the game. Lancers, of course, 55 shots on net last night, but only one goal, dropping a 3-1 decision to the Toronto Varsity Blues. Meanwhile, it's been 48 hours since the Rams were last in action. A 5-0 win thanks to number 31 in the crease for them, Troy Passingham over the defending Queen's Cup champions. These two teams met not too long ago. It was just seven days ago that they met at Madame Athletic Center, the old Maple Leaf Gardens, where the Lancers escaped with a 2-1 victory. Steve Anthony returning to the lineup tonight as well on the left wing of Eric Noel and Ryan Green on the other side. Bradford Babkirk on the defensive side for the Lancers with Blake Richard in net. Meanwhile, on the Ryerson side of things, Gallant, Blaney, and Claremont to get the party started. Basso and Mercer for the Rams. And, of course, as we mentioned, Passingham in net. Play starts out in the Lancer zone. Ryerson's there, a backhand pass, one-time attempt, first shot of the game turned away by Richard. And they finally leave their own zone. Here's Ryan Green around the right wing. He has to make a move, avoiding the presence of the Rams on his tails. Loses the puck behind him. It drags, recovered by Christo. Trying to find a space and uh, tried to set up a one-time. Went through everybody. Prior through traffic, it's rolling in and made it in. The type of goal that'll have you up at night, that's not how Troy Passingham wanted his shutout streak to end. Absolutely, the Lance just got away with one in front. A good little battle early in the game, but could have been a penalty called right in front. Uh, 16 there, Anthony pulled the guy's feet out, but that's what you get. You get guys puck back to the point, started low, came high, shot through a crowd, and, and that's how you score goals in, in good leagues. The puck got through, bodies at the net, and uh, found a way on. We'll see if Steve Anthony might get credit on the assist on that goal as well. Yeah. It would be a great welcome back for Steve Anthony. He's missed uh, the previous three contests for the Windsor Lancers. Chris Doe on the faceoff now for the Lancers. Desperately gets the puck to the left wing. Starting again, it's Basso. Moves it forward for Mike Fine. Sends it across for Frace, who let it bounce over his stick as Kenny Bradford was coming in. Rams out right in front, backhand Dundas. Rather, it's Kyle Hope who's going to get credit for that, number 43. And it's been quite the goalish drought for number 43. What a play there by Dylan Denemy, dragging the puck wide. Guys all over him. He finds a way to muscle in, get the puck on his backhand, get it to the net, and Kyle Hope with a deft touch right in behind their D, sneaking in, timed it right, arrived right on time to cash in there. 2 nothing. Windsor Lancers leading. With 13.41 left to play in the opening period. Rough start for the former Spitfire representing the other blue and gold, Troy Passingham. And a big to get it around, no luck there, and Lancers get it back thanks to Noel. Now Pryor sends it back to Bradford who moves in, five hole attempt, nothing. Here's Noel again, trying to move it forward with a short pass. Ness in trouble, Noel recovers, Pryor again sends it down low and it bounced off a Ryerson stick. Here's Bradford, one time Pryor without any results though, and finally Claremont desperately clears it out with a weak backhand, but it got the job done. Just a minute left in the power play here, 102 left to go as Pryor gets back, one time Anthony scores! Yeah, they're calling it a goal, and that came off a little bit on the push across, but it's a perfectly placed pass by 42 Pryor there, and just let it eat on the one-timer low block, great shot. A huge goal for Steve Anthony and company, already his second in the period with 12.21 left oh, to play in the first period. That's it, that's it for Troy Passingham here, he's going to be out of the net on a goalie change. Not exactly what we might have expected from a fan favorite for most Windsorites who might remember him part of the 2009-2010 Memorial Cup <laughs> Spitfires. But Passingham is done just 7.39 into the contest and now Taylor Dupuis is going to take over. 5-7 and seven on the season is Dupuis at 3.25 goals against and a 9.01 save percentage. 
We'll see how he can perhaps inspire his troops down by three in the early going as Richard covers up on the five hole. As Hines brings it in, gives it back over to Figlio Many, who I guess is back in the game, number 18 for the Ryerson Rams, jumping back in the play. Here's Burkoff now, he sends it over. Shot fired, and there it is, the first goal by Devlin for the Rams. That seems to be a, a part that the Ryerson Rams are looking to get their power plays. The shots seem to come from that left side point with Basso and Devlin. Devlin cashes in here on an absolute bomb, catches it, release, just beat Richard to the glove side. Brandon Devlin, the freshman member of the Ryerson Rams, formerly played for Mississauga in the OHL. And for what it's worth, despite Vince Figliomeni's rough night, he does get a plus one for being on the ice on that play. That must be, no pun intended, but a positive in some way, right? <laughs> Have to think so. Hasn't proved any results yet. Here's Dylan Denemy stepping up. Over to Green. Over to Anthony. Backhand for oh. Denemy. And in the slot, they lost it in the skates. No whistle. It's a goal. Dylan Denemy. That was a play. For the puck comes in the zone. Denemy pulls it to his forehand like he's going to rip it. As soon as the D steps up and tries to block the shot, quick pass over to Ryan Green into the slot. There for 16, Anthony, who goes back against the green. Two Denemy followed up. Puck hobbles around, chipped in the net. Way to stay with it there. Most guys, you know, guys who aren't goal scorers, they would have just kind of made their wax, gave it away from the net, but Denemy makes sure he stops his feet, stays in the crease, gets that second, third whack. Big goal for the Lancers here to, to make the cushion a little bit higher. A great reunion for the affectionately known Diesel line. Steve Anthony, Dylan Denemy, and Ryan Green. We haven't seen that trio together for quite some time. But wow, it's proved worthwhile in that sequence. Absolutely, the puck was hopping on that play. 4-1, Lancers leading, 13-51, left to play to Burkoff. Burkoff going to slow it with his glove. He has to make a move as Dundas approaches. Sends it across to his partner. That's Mercer. Up forward on the right wing. Sent up center ice to Dundas. Over to Noel. Anthony's approaching. Anthony with it for Noel and just a foot out of his reach. And now Dundas rushing the zone and throws his body around. Mercer tried to move it through Anthony. No luck there. Here's Figlia Many. Three on two. Armstrong has it. Armstrong tries to pick the corner. Blocker save Richard. Here's Mercer now, couldn't kick it back into Lancer's zone. Rams regroup, a two-on-two, two. lasted for a minute. Dundas taking Figliomeni into the boards, and a slashing call avoided by the referees. Luciani now retreats back into his own zone. Forward to Ryan Green. Green now skating in his own zone, finding some space, almost gave it up to Armstrong before he gave him his own strong arm. <laughs> 5.19 left to play in the second period. Long stretch in between the whistle there. That was, uh, that was good work. You can take a breath. Yeah, there's good play by Ryan Green. 5.19 left to go in the second period. 4-1 lead for the Windsor Lancers. First four goals of this game came in the first period and the only one since then, courtesy of Dylan Denemy, his 21st point of the regular season. Here's Dylan Segan now, snipes it, scores Dylan Segan. That goal was a direct result of the neutral zone play we talked about for the Lancers. The full possession for Ryerson, kind of three guys locked up, jammed in the neutral zone, they try to force feet a play, it's picked off. Segan gets the puck, skates down, pulls it through, great shot, seeing I throw it through the defenseman, and he's pulling the monkey off his back here as a celebration. I was going to say, tugging at, a, at, at his numbers on the back there. Yeah. Yes, the monkey off the back. A big goal for Dylan Segan, extending this Lancer lead to 5-1, with 5.05 left to play in the second period. He's one of those. Picked up by the... Lancers again, Denemy again trying to center it. This time for another Lancer. It might have been Noel. And now Gallant has it. Rams scrambling in their own zone to get this puck out. Noel again. Shot fart scores. It's Shapley, baby. Another per great play. I mean, the puck is absolutely dominated by the Windsor Lancers. We have full zone time. They get a whole line change in. All five guys. Puck comes down to Noel. Makes a heady little pass to the slot for Shepley coming down. Catch and release. High glove. Didn't spend a lot of time on his stick. Great shot. 
Who would have thought Chad Shepley had a shot like that from Viper to Sniper <laughs> to make that lead 6-1 for the Lancers? Well, that's prime time. You, you shouldn't be missing the opportunities to score from there. You're right in the middle of the slot, right in the rebound game area. I Picked it up by Richard for Luciani. Luciani now showing his offensive side alongside Beauregard. Sends it all the way across for Ness. Ness goes, picks the corner, and that's a goal. 7-1. Clearly the Lancers were not done in the first 45 minutes of regulation, Kyle. And that's one of those plays that, like I said, when it rains, it pours. They get the zone with a wide entry, kick back through the middle, and Ness has the puck in the slot, and he tries to get it off quick. It's deflected off of this guy marking him right in front of him there. Redirected right up over the shoulder, and at 7-1, that's... We're going to see 42 Kelly's back out here on the ice for his second shift of the game. Well, we'll see if... Uh, no, just kidding, Coach is taking him off. Well, he got out there just to stand there, and now he's off. Jason Kelly back to the box. He might have taken uh, some kind of hit or something. I see him hunched over on the bench. We'll see if he gets back to action. Until then, with 14.45, as I mentioned a moment ago, Brock Badger's on the schedule, followed by the Western Mustangs next Saturday in London, and then they'll close it out Friday, February 12th, against the York Lions at Canlan Ice Sports. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for all of the home games this regular season, whether it was for the men's hockey team or the women's hockey team. Truly a pleasure bringing you the coverage every week live from South Windsor Arena. Hopefully we'll be back and bring you even playoff coverage for both the men's and women's teams. Certainly, if tonight's game is any indication, these Lancers have a lot of excitement and adventure to look forward to before we come back here, hopefully for playoffs. Thank you once again for tuning in to OUA.TV. I'm Andy Kumar. For my partner, Kyle McCarrick, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and good night from South Windsor.